Hi guys, Mac here again. Very quick one for you today. I've recently been setting up a Windows 10 machine and I needed a very specific version of Office from Office 365. Now, of course, if you install Office direct from 365, it typically installs the current or latest version. So this is a freshly built machine. For example, you'll see that I've got 16.0.12.624 installed. Now, why would I want to install an earlier version? Well, Say, for example, if you're testing something for a specific customer and they've got a specific configuration that's in place, you want your test environment to be as similar to theirs as possible. So if we have a look at this machine here, for example, you'll see that the environment on this one, I'm running an earlier version, which is 16.0.10.7.30. Now, what I found is that there's not an awful lot of information out there on how we install an earlier version. So I thought I'd show you how to do that now. For me to get started, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll this Windows 10 machine back to just a straight Windows 10 machine without Office installed. So it's really easy for me to do because this is virtualized. So let me do that and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to do it. Here we are back with our Windows 10 machine and now I don't have Office on this machine. So what we want to do is get that earlier version installed and we want to download the media from Office 365. So what do we need? Well, the first thing you need is this thing called the Office Deployment Tool. Now, I'll include the link in the description and just get it downloaded and we'll get it installed. Now, I've already downloaded it, so we will install it. Pop to your downloads. There it is. It's going to ask for a folder where to install it. Now, I'm just going to put it in the root of the C drive because it will keep this simple. I'm going to create a new folder called ODT and we'll extract it in there. Now, if you go to that folder, there we go, you'll see a setup program and some XML files. Now, the XML files describe the package that we're going to install on this machine. So what I'm going to do, I want the 32-bit version, which is that one. I'm just going to copy that XML, and I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it this. You'll see why in a minute. I just want a shorter name. It's easier to type out. Next, how do I know what version of Office I want? Well, if you pop to this website here, which again, I will put the link in the description, you'll be able to see all of the versions of Office from Office 365. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose the version that I want, and we're going to modify that XML file so that it installs the appropriate version. So I'm going to open my XML file in Notepad. There we go. And how do I know what version? Well, I've got it from earlier, and it's there. So we need to change the channel so it includes all of the versions of Office, not a specific targeted release. And we need to set the version number that we want to deploy. Now, if you go and have a look at my blog entry, again, which the link is below, it'll actually show the format of this file for you. But what I'm going to do is just go in here. I'm going to overwrite the channel and just paste in those settings that we just copied. So it's going to be a broad channel and we're going to choose a specific version number. Now the other thing is I am going to get rid of Visio because I don't want Visio on this machine either. There we go. So when you've done it, save that. And then what we want to do is just fire up an elevated DOS prompt. We're going to go to that folder and you'll see our setup file and the XML that we've just created. Now the first thing we're going to do then is download the package of that version number and it's really easy to do. Setup forward slash download and then this.xml which is the XML file that we have just modified. There you go. Now it won't display anything on the screen but if you look at your task manager you should see it downloading. There we go, that's all done. It didn't take too long at all. So if we have a look in this folder now, you will see that we have an Office folder. And if we look, it is 1.77 gigabytes in size. Now, if you want to copy this across to other machines to install, you absolutely can now. You don't need to do that download piece again. But the final part of this is to actually install the software. So the way we do it, similar, setup, forward slash configure, and then our XML file. And off it goes, so let's let this finish. Okay, and we're done. Didn't take too long at all. Now if we fire up Skype for business. Let's see what version we've got. 
So we've now got 16.0.10.7.30, which is the version that we wanted. So as you can see, it is relatively straightforward. It's just knowing what to do with that office deployment tool. Like I said, there are a ton of configurations you can do in there. You can include different parts. You can even exclude different parts of office as well. You can also now just copy that folder to a different machine and also run that second part, the install, without having to do the download again, of course. So anyway, I hope you found that useful. I, Like I say, I struggled to find any info on how to do this. I'll, I'll put the links in the description below and also the link to my original blog on the subject.